Hi guys! So today we're trying out a new facial aesthetic treatment that is inspired by traditional Chinese medicine. This is made up of three separate treatments. The first is lymphatic drainage, so they'll be using mineral stones to detox from my face. Um, and the second, facial acupuncture, where I think you might already know, they'll be inserting a bunch of different needles into my skin. Um, and the third will be facial realignment. If you haven't noticed, I do a lot of crazy facials on Beauty With Me. A couple of you guys asked me to try facial acupuncture. For those of you who are new to acupuncture, it's an ancient Chinese medicine practice that has been used for thousands of years. In fact, in 2003, the World Health Organization officially backed acupuncture as a medical treatment, and it was proven to help with a host of different issues from depression to rheumatoid arthritis. I finally did it earlier this month after reading all of your kind comments, and gotta say it was very rewarding. I headed over to see Sandra Lanchin Chu, who is an acupuncturist, herbalist, and founder of this wellness center called Treatment by Lanchin. She specializes in facial acupuncture, obviously. I did her facial acupuncture and gua sa treatment. Okay, me, so we're gonna do facial acupuncture today. Ooh. The first thing that I wanna know is what your concerns are. Well, I have combination oily skin to start, okay. and I get occasional breakouts, especially along my jawline. I'm prone to puffiness and a little bit of redness. Facial acupuncture can definitely help address a lot of the things you mentioned. Acupuncture can really move the circulation in the tissues. So with acne, often the issue is stagnation in the tissues. And um, for puffiness, same thing. It's an issue of circulation not being optimal. Basically, we're helping your tissues function better. Well, should we start? Yeah, let's get started. Are you ready? Yes. So we'll actually start with your neck. We're gonna open your neck. So you're just gonna feel a little nothing probably. Did you feel that? No. Okay, so your needle is in. Oh. What you'll probably feel is a little achy sensation, kind of like a toothache. That's perfectly normal. You also might experience a muscle jump, which is your muscle releasing if you feel that. All right, so we're ready to flip you over now. We need to balance the energy so that you don't feel like it's all up here and get a headache or something. Many people consider acupuncture a really relaxing treatment, but I didn't really think that it was. If you have any kind of aversion to needles, you probably won't find it all that soothing. But Sandra did do a really good job of easing my nerves. Okay, you okay? Yeah, it was fine. One of the great things about Chinese medicine is it's catered always to the individual. So what I'll do on you will be very different than what I do on my next client. When things circulate better, they function better. And when things function better, there's more health and vitality available to you. And that's really what people are looking for when they're looking for anti-aging. They're looking for that glow that comes from health. In general, this type of work requires repetition, kind of like going to the gym. Ideally, we would see you for eight weeks, once a week, or as close to that as possible. We're changing a pattern, and a pattern takes time and repetition to change. Sandra made a point to needle only half of my face so that we could really see a difference between the needled side and the non-needled side. On my right side of my face, there was virtually no redness. The puffiness of my face had severely been diminished. It was like night and day between my left side and my right side. After Sandra finished needling the rest of my face, she moved on to facial massage. Sandra is known for this technique called facial guasa, which is basically a very deep form of facial massage using a jade tool. That combined with facial cupping helps improve circulation and increase lymphatic drainage. So facial guasa actually comes from a body work technique that we use in Chinese medicine, body guasa, and it's pretty intense on the body. Like it's fast friction and lots of pressure. When we apply guasa to the face, it's much gentler. So we're applying less pressure, not trying to create friction. Using the tool will create more of like a fascial release. Fascia is basically a layer of tissue that wraps your muscles. It's an important layer of tissue to work with to release tension. So it's really effective for lifting, sculpting, and contouring. 
After the gua sa, Sandra employed a bit of cupping. So she used these silicone cups and glided them along my jaw just to remove any of the stagnation in this area. I have a lot of hormonal breakouts that occur here, so she said that it would really help with that. After the treatment, I could instantly tell there was a difference in my skin. My face looked a bit more contoured, it was brighter, it was a, a lot less redness.